Hey, welcome to the channel. And be here. I know I've been making videos in a while, but I like I like to try to make relative content. I'm not gonna make videos just to be making videos. I don't see the point of that. I mean, just if I ain't got nothing to say or something insightful to share, I'm not gonna make a video. But this video right here is about uh two bills. And it it reinforces what I've always said about Cone Area's king. It's, it's a, this is the first Quadzilla I've ever built for a four six and a half. Yeah, that is correct. This is a Quadzilla for four fierce six and a half. It's going in a Cadillac CTS. It is like 2.4 cubes with a six inch aerial style circular port. Uh, it's unfinished because this, this is what he wants. He this this is that slab design that they use a lot in Texas. So what I mean by that is not the box. They're gonna he's gonna vinyl cover it to match the vinyl that he already has inside his trunk and lights. I mean it's 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 going in the slab, <laughs> and that's just what they do. They raise the hood up and they got speakers and name of their car club and so he wants it unfinished like this. But he wants the performance. He doesn't, because sometimes with the slab vehicles, they look nice, sound like shit. He wanted performance. So he came to NBE to get him a box that's going to perform. It's going to play real low. Uh, this enclosure here is tuned to 31 hertz. I have tuned six and a half very, very low because they have no problem getting the upper frequencies. But because of the small spider landing, when they, they drop off severely, under tuning. I'm talking about real quick. So you need to have your low pass filter set. And that's any six and a half. Any six and a half because they don't have that much spider, period. That you're going to have to have a very low tuning closure for it to emulate the base of larger subwoofers. You're never, you're not going to get the output of a larger subwoofer. If you was to put and that's why I made this video a comfortable video. You can see this behemoth behind it. This behemoth behind it is going to the other end, of, the opposite side of Georgia. This is going to South Carolina. This is a build. I mean, the design is what Kicker uses all the time. I'm going to take the camera up so y'all can see it. Uh, the design is what Kicker uses uh, with the. L7R box that they tell you can do a 150 on with a K2400, KXA2400 amp, which Big D, shout out Big D, has already proven on stock electrical with that K2400 in their box, uh, did a 150, 151, I believe, 151. So what you have here is a MBE, <laughs> a MBE quad killer, quad quadzilla. Uh, their box, Kicker Box, comes with the L7R, and it is uh, nine cubes. Uh, this baby right here is going, my boy uh, Billy in South Carolina is putting four Kicker Q Class 12s. Q Class, not the L7R. Four square. Q class 12 in this box, this is 11.6, right at, right at 12 cubes. Right at 12 cubes. The, why I'm putting this video, and I'm gonna lift it up so y'all can really see the difference. Do you see the port area <laughs> that you have with this six and a half? Four quadzillas, four six and a half. And then do you see the, the port area <laughs> on this 12 cube box? Cone air is key because the more air you move, the louder you're going to be. The more air you move, the louder you're going to be. So, this is what I'm saying. All other factors being equal. All other factors being equal. A good performance sub here, a good performance subs here. The larger cone air is going to win. Do not trick your, don't let nobody trick you into believing that 28 squares is a cone air. Is going to be. I'm, I'm gonna measure. I'm gonna measure this right quick as I forgot. I know the opening is ten inches. It's ten by 
19. That's 190 square inches of port area. This encloses to, to 31 hertz. This encloses to, to 33 hertz. The width of this port is damn near <laughs> the height, the length of this box. I mean, if, this, if I didn't put this flush mount on it, I could turn this box this way and stick it in that port. Cone air is king. Uh, I'm very excited about that. I'm going to make another video going in depth on this kicker quadzilla that I make for four kicker Q-Class 12s that's for SUVs. He's, he's got a SUV that he's putting this in. Uh... And he's putting it on two KXA 1800s because he already had them. So he's going to have 3600 watts. He's going to have two kicker D4, four kicker D4 Q class. And they're going to each be on an 1800. So I'm going to make another video because I got a, we're going to, I'm going to bed liner it and put some other things on the inside of that, on, of that box as well. That's needed. <laughs> that's needed because of those big, large panels. But uh, I got to paint that one. This one I don't have to. Uh, so let me pick the, so y'all can see the differences, uh, of between the two. Okay. This is, let's see, this is the, yeah, Quazilla for four, six and a half. Uh, nice box, right? Yeah. Solidly constructed. Quazilla. Yeah, now now let's go over here and look at the behemoth. <laughs> look at it. Let me make sure I get with a light. Yeah, that, that's a behemoth. Yeah, that's a monster. It, it, it's a big difference. It's a big difference between this box <laughs> as far as output <laughs> and that box. Huge difference. Huge difference. I'm gonna have to make another video later on today as I uh, bed line it is, let it dry. It's gonna be black. Uh, simple design, and, and I think those of us who were really into output understand that sometimes the prettiest boxes in the world don't sound like shit. Keeping it simple. Keep them to that 1728, knowing how to manipulate 1728 as you put in your bracing. Uh, I mean, this this box here, I'm putting it lens down so I can see. You see it right there. This baffle, <laughs> this baffle is three inches thick. There is no, there is, there's going to be no vibration at all on this box. But on my six and a half, the baffle alone, the baffle alone, you look at the six now, the baffle alone is an inch and a half thick. And that's just something I do with my enclosures because I believe in your resonance, your vibration is coming from the base wave being created and the basket contacting the wood. Make your baffle or get a box who you have somebody to build you a box. Make your baffle as thick as possible. Uh, now, you can... Really ain't no overkill. You can make it thick as you want to make it. Hey, everybody knows the perfect box is a concrete box. <laughs> Why? Because it has no resonance. It ain't going to vibrate. <laughs> it's period. You're not going to get no resonance to the wood. Once the speaker comes in contact with the wood and the wood goes to vibrating, that vibrating translates to all the other panels. Well, if you make that baffle thick enough, all the extra bracing that you put in there really ain't needed. I mean, it, it look good. Especially you got a plexiglass glass window and all that other stuff there. Makes the price of the box go up. Looks good. But simple works. I found simple works. Nobody, who cares if the box pretty if they don't hear you before they see you? They pull up on you and you oh, yeah, sounds good. And you open up, oh, that's a pretty ass box. Yeah. But NBA boxes, then you ain't got to pull up. They already like, hey, who the fuck is that? <laughs> and then when you pull up, they say, yeah, real simple. Bass is to be heard, bass is not seen. Uh, so, my man, he's on his way now. He's going to pick up this box here. 
the unfinished uh, six and a half Quazilla. I just wanted to show the differences between the two. And he, he you know, this is just something that he wanted to do. This is something he wanted to do. Hold on, let me show you right there. This is just something that he wanted. This is just something that he wanted to do. I hold it like that. This is something that he wanted to do. He wanted to run six and a half. He could have did. I don't think he could have did four twelves because I'm not gonna build a box unless it's correct for the subs. But if you see the differences between the two, when I tell y'all about Conan is King. Uh, which one do you? Which one do you? Which one do you guys think is gonna hit hard? I mean, you got twelve cubes, net, eleven point six net, against two cubes. You got a hundred and ninety square inches of port area, and twenty eight inches of port area. Bases made by air being moved. You, you don't let nobody take nothing different. Be, use common sense. Got how much power you throw these six and a half? You could throw a quarter of that power to that monstrosity over there. Maybe even a sixth of that power, and it's going to equate what they can do because you're moving more air. And that's why some of them companies make six and a half, eights, tens, 12, 15, 18s. And I love small subs because that's what I can run inside my vehicle effectively. I love eights. Everybody know I love eights. But... I know the principles, and I build boxes for all sizes. And I I reinforce this to people that listen to my channel because it's so true. If you want the most base you can get, get the biggest cone area you can inside your vehicle. I preach that on all my on most of my videos. Cone area is king. Cone area is king. In, in conclusion, in conclusion, uh, get right here. Okay. In conclusion. If you need, oh, that's a perfect shot right there. In conclusion, if you need an enclosure, look in the comments, get my number, text me, text me. Don't call me, sometimes I ain't gonna answer the phone. Cause it'd be spam calls. And then sometimes I answer the phone because people be kicking tires. You know, text me about ordering a box. You can watch my videos and get information and glean, but you can text in my number about getting the box. I build all size enclosures. I build all size enclosures. You can text me and you'll get your ass. Uh sometime like this is being picked up, this one's being picked up. This this one's small enough to be shipped, to be honest with you. This this could have been shipped. I could have wrapped this, it could stain this, lost this, and it could have been shipped. Uh that could be a ship too if you want to pay that kind of money. But that box is like right at 210 pounds. Yeah, it's, it's it's pretty heavy, and it's and it's big. And I don't I don't think you want to put they gonna put it on a pallet because I can move it around, but you're not gonna get the average UPS guy, USPS guy, it's gonna mess with that joker there. That that it's heavy, it's awkward, it's it's four to eight inches wide, and almost four inches back. Man, it's big. I, I, I'm excited about that box. Like I said, I'm going to make another video after I get it painted black because I'm running kicker. Uh, I'm fit to take them out do something different. Don't I'll tell y'all later why. Uh, just because I can't. Ain't nothing wrong with the kickers. It's just this is what I do. I change out stuff all the time. Uh, I just like the resurgence that kicker is doing. And he's going to come back from South Carolina and let me actually hear my interpretation was some Q classes, and I'm, I'm, I can't wait to hear it. Because I, I don't like the guarantee output, but what everything that I know he's doing, 150 is going to be an afterthought. <laughs> we, we're going to leave 150. I, I will say that with that box there. He's doing the batteries, the lithium, the power runs. He got the space in the vehicle. He got enough space. Even when he put this inside his vehicle, He's gonna have like a foot and a half for the load off of, so the port can breathe. It's it is, and then he's gonna put two on eighteen hundred amplifier. I mean, the, the head unit, everything that he's doing for that box is. I'm just move. <laughs> but anyway, I just want to show y'all the two differences between and like reinforce to you that cone area. 
Cone area. Cone area in relation to port area is king for his output. Don't let nobody tell you no difference. Six and a half ain't beating no fucking eights. Four six and a half ain't beating no fucking eights. Four eights of comparable uh, performance. Peace.